garden. It's cold and windy out here. We live kind of close to a highway so you can always hear the vehicles. Some of them are really loud. We have lots of animals so those are loud. The kids are loud. I'm like back here trying to like find some quiet but the wind is blowing. If there's wind in this video I'm super sorry. Today we are talking about planting garlic. I'm gonna say this probably in every video that I make. One of the things about gardening and homesteading and having animals like goats and chickens and rabbits, a lot of times people can overcomplicate things. Maybe not. Maybe they're explaining them and giving you all of the details, which are very important, but I think a lot of times that turns people away from even trying to do it because they're like, mm, this seems like a lot of stuff that I'm not equipped to do. And I just want you guys to not feel that way about anything that I ever make a video about. You absolutely can do it. I'm also not one to like get real technical with stuff. If it's not like putting my animals in danger or my kids in danger, I'm probably just gonna like fly by the seat of my pants and like hope for the best. And so far throughout the 41 years of my life, that strategy has done very well for me. The thing I like about garlic the most is that it's probably the easiest thing that you can grow. One of the things that I kicked myself in the butt for, for probably four years, uh, I would think about growing garlic, I would go look up how to grow garlic, when to grow garlic, uh, when to plant it, all of the things like, do I want a hard neck or soft neck variety? Like, can I grow garlic from the grocery store? And there was just like all these videos telling me all these things and I just never did it. And then come spring, I'm kicking myself in the butt because I didn't plant garlic in the fall. And we use garlic like literally every day. That's not even an exaggeration between um, using it for like coughs and congestion and stuff like that, putting it in our ferments. We use it for salsas and cooking and baking and like we just use it for everything. Put the garlic in the ground. And if you have not put your garlic in, I actually will read to you. I have the, the zones here and like when you should plant. We're in the Midwest, we're in Iowa, so you should do it like late October uh, is when we usually plant. I think you can probably go into November. As long as your ground is not frozen, it's still workable, put the garlic in the ground. I wrote this down. Um, for zones three through five, it says plant garlic in late September to early October. Zones five through seven, plant in mid to late October. Zone seven through nine, plant in late October into November and zones nine to 10 plant from late October into December. If you don't know what zone you live in, just Google it, like whatever town uh, in Iowa, blah, 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 Iowa, what zone am I for gardening? And it, it will pop up and tell you. We are in zone 5B, so that's what we go by. Anyways, don't let that stop you either from growing garlic. It's really easy to find out what zone you're in and it's really helpful to know what zone you're in too. You can um, narrow your searches down a lot further if you are looking for a specific uh, frequently asked questions or how do I do this. You guys, the wind is so bad, I'm so sorry. Um, you can put in how to go grow garlic in the fall in zone 5B and you'll find videos of people specifically in your area that are gonna have some tips for you in regards to whatever you're, you're looking for answers to. Another really cool thing I like about garlic is that uh, aside from it's super easy to grow, it naturally repels most pests. So the best time to plant garlic is in the fall. There's hard neck varieties and soft neck varieties. You can search what the difference is and decide which one you want to do. Do them both if you want to. The hard neck has a better taste and maybe has bigger bulbs. Just depends what you prefer. Me, garlic is garlic is garlic is garlic. It doesn't matter. Pick one, pick both. Do them both and see what you like the first couple times around and then you can just kind of tweak it from there to decide um, what you want to plant from that point on. The dogs have found me. Uh, let's just get into the video. It's super easy, you guys. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave. Go grab yourself some garlic and get it in the ground. Planting garlic is so easy that this part of the video is like one minute or less. So you're gonna unwrap your garlic. If you buy it as seed, it's gonna already come broken up and in individual cloves, just like this. Just take the papery stuff off of it. And then you have all these beautiful cloves of garlic. This is the, I did a store-bought garlic bed here in this video. When your soil is ready and you're ready to plant, I like to just lay my individual cloves in each spot. You want them to be about four to six inches apart from each other. 
Um, you can stagger them like you would cookies on a cookie sheet, but I just do direct rows of them. I'm wasting space at that point, but that's just how I did it. And this is actually some store-bought garlic in this bed that I'm doing for this video. I had already planted some seed garlic in the backyard. Also, let's explain this. This is what the clove looks like. Here's the bottom of the clove. That's the part that's going to go point down into the dirt. So just like you would get it off of the bulb of garlic, the bottom part right here, that's going to go into the ground. And I go up to my second knuckle of my finger. I just grab the cloves and push them down into the soil. Bottom, top. Push it down, cover it. And that's literally it. That's, that's it. That's all you gotta do. It is so, so freaking easy. And once we get that whole process done, you guys can cover them with mulch. Not can, should. You should cover them with some sort of covering. So straw or hay or we use wood chips like I'm using right here. And I do four inches over the top. And then you'll wanna give them a good watering after you get done placing your wood chips in there or whatever you're using. And it shouldn't take any more than that. The thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video um, is that you're going to want some sort of nutrition uh, in your soil for your garlic. Garlic is a very heavy feeder and is gonna need some sort of uh, nutrients and a little bit of help. Um, not need, it, it'll, it can still grow without it. You're just gonna have a, a much better outcome if you provide it with some sort of nutrients. So whether that's a, a commercial um, bought at the store fertilizer, an organic fertilizer, worm castings, uh, we use compost that's already in, in the soil before I even started this video. Um, it's completely up to you. After you get your um, cover over the top of your planted garlic with whatever you're using, you could use leaves, you, some people use pine needles, um, we use wood chips, whatever it is that you're using, then give it a nice good watering um, and then just leave it be. That's it. That's all there is to planting garlic. So if you've watched any other videos and you've come away from them like, I, I cannot do this, yes you can. You can plant garlic, it's not hard, it is so, so easy. Just go throw some garlic in the ground. I know I've said that like a hundred times, but it really is that easy and I don't want you to not have garlic because things seem a little hectic when you look them up. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm the only one that like thinks, my God, this is so complicated. I mean, even when I first, when I, before I first made sourdough, I've mentioned this several times, I didn't make sourdough, a sourdough starter for many years because I was so nervous because it, it just seemed like a lot, like I was gonna fail, like I, I wouldn't be able to do it because I didn't, I'd never done it before and all of the videos were insane. Not insane, they were good, they were great videos, they were full of information and maybe it's just my brain that can't handle it all, like, no, I just can't do it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this works for you guys. Put some garlic in the ground, cover it up, water it, and walk away. And just know that next summer, you're going to have some awesome garlic harvest. Uh -huh.